Today I'm going truffle hunting with Simona and hopefully we'll find some really big truffles for this uh, wonderful rabbit dish. Ciao, I'm Simone Mori, one of the best truffle hunters of black truffle in Europe. Within about five minutes I realized he could like rape and kill me and no one would ever know because he knows the forest like the back of his hand. We're gonna find um, some truffles for a dish that I'm preparing back at the kitchen. Hopefully we'll find some really big truffles. So come along, truffle schmuffle. Give me a wiener. That's a big one. Ciao, Simone. Hey, Come ciao. Inside. Ciao, Annette. How are you? Good. How are I you? I made for you a stick. Oh, eh? thank you. You made me a stick. Here we go. What? Into what? the woods. I try to help him with his business ventures. He's just started making um, condiments with truffles. So proud of him because he's grown his facility and I've watched it grow and grow and grow. And now he's in one of the major, major uh, grocery stores in all of Italy. Simone has been a truffle hunter for about 15 years. I think his dog is about nine years old, but yeah, 15 years of truffle hunting. Sounds like heaven to me. Ah! Fermo, fermo, fermo. I think he loves his dog more than he loves his wife. It's true. You broken, Tito. This would be like 125 bucks, probably, in America. You could pay thousands of dollars for a, like a fist-sized truffle. I mean, I love truffles. I could eat truffles breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is a nice thing that's just sort of shaved over pasta. It's almost something that you could use uh, with something else. But because this is a little less flavorful, you can combine it with other things like asparagus or something that's got a little stronger and then you get the subtle taste of, of truffle with it. So yesterday in the car, my producer and I, Michael, had a fight. He said, is it like a potato? And I said, no. No, 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 it's a mushroom. Can you cut one for him so yeah, he can see it? Right. Because he is insane. Show the texture to him. He doesn't understand. You see how he's inside? Oh uh, yeah, like a potato. No. <laughs> no. Like a potato. Look, look. It's not a potato! No. No. What is a truffle? A truffle is a mushroom, essentially. It's of the same family. It, it grows from a spore underground. When you hunt for them, they have a very specific fragrance, truffles. And the dogs smell this scent and know to go after it. How, and I, my big question for Simona was like, how do you teach a dog to be a truffle dog? All the dogs can find a truffle, but the best is Lagotto Romagnolo. There we go. That is Lagotto Romagnolo. You need uh, one year for, for to bring one dog to be super dog, okay? You have to, to give them something more interesting of truffle, you know? He has hot dogs. Buster. Yeah. They bring truffle in map and I, I give him. Truffle schmuffle, give me a wiener. Truffle hunting is a very secretive business. And so he will sometimes go in the middle of the night when he's hunting for white truffles. He'll get up at two in the morning, wear a headlamp, park his car very stealthily so nobody sees him. And he will, you know, go into the woods in the middle of the night to look for white truffles because mainly he doesn't want the other truffle hunters to know where he's hunting. So it's a very secretive, a very covert operation. But this is a, so it's a spade. This is a very fancy one. Did you make this or have this made? I make. Somebody, did I you make, make this? I make, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. You should sell these. You're so talented. Qua, qua, qua. A little crushing going on, but don't worry about qua, it. Qua, bye, don't bye. worry about it. Mind your own business. Muddy! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! No, not don't there in the other side. Well, why don't you direct me? I mean, you're like not helping me. Okay, I made it. I made it. So, do you know the show Naked and Afraid? No. I think you should do the show. We're gonna do a Naked and Afraid audition tape for him. Mi chiamo Simone. 
e penso di poter vincere lo show Naked and Afraid perché io posso vivere in un bosco, in una foresta o in montagna per sempre eh, vivendo di quello che trovo, eh, mangiando gli animali che posso uccidere o mangiando le radici o l'erba che posso trovare. Questo è, non è un problema per me. Sì, sì, non, pro... no, sì, non è un problema essere nudo. Non è un problema essere nudo, anche no, no, assolutamente. Perché non è la misura che fa la differenza, ma è la qualità. E naked and afraid, call me. Where are you going? Get over here. What are you doing? Where are We're you ready? going? Are you ready? Yeah, just I'm talking to you. We're on uh, camera uh, oh, now. Oh, we're on camera. Ah. Jesus, God. So this is a chestnut truffle stuffed rabbit. It's a super yummy recipe. Like, I'm really excited for you guys to try it. We don't kill each other during this demo. It's going to be wonderful. Um, rabbit. Oh, yeah. You don't right. want to do all the process. Yeah, we're doing the whole process. We're going to call this the disorganized cooking show. <laughs> You'll get it eventually. Watch it a few times. Oh, God. Let's get to the bunny. So, in the Lunijana, they eat. A lot of rabbit. I highly urge people try rabbit. They don't eat enough rabbit in America. Rabbit is delicious. In America, I would ask your butcher, ask them if they can fillet it, debone it for you, and then you get this nice fillet. So we're trying to turn people on to something a little more sustainable. Okay, so the ingredients are a rabbit that's been deboned. This one has been deboned, it's filleted, and then We have truffles and we have chestnuts. Um, so in my book, um, At the Table of La Fortessa, um, I have a resource for these. They're pretty easy to find. So just look in the source page. I also have a resource for truffles in my book as well. You know, all the recipes will be below, but you can also buy the book. They're in the link. Just click on it. It'll come to your door and then you can start cooking. Lunijana style. Correct. So we have lined the top of our filet with the pancetta. We're going to put the chestnuts through a ricer. And then you have to have the strength of a thousand men. Yeah. <laughs> Rewind. We're not using a ricer. You people use whatever you want. <laughs> use a hammer. I don't care. So we're going to mash it. We're now we're on to a different tool. Beautiful. 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 Like That's beautiful. I love it. Mm. Could be better. God, this is like a process. We put the butter in there? Mm -hmm. Can I have the spoon? Please. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make, we're making a, basically we're making a chestnut butter, essentially. Mm -hmm. this, we're making a paste, right? This is sort of like Thanksgiving in America. You have to come one year for Thanksgiving. You'll hate the food. For For Thanksgiving. July, for July, no. And November. <laughs> You don't do turkey for, for 4th of July, you weirdo. So this truffle is pretty fantastic. I feel like a lot of truffles tonight. I mean, I ran through the woods like for hours. I'll tell you, I'm exhausted from running through the woods. I'm tired. Okay, we ready God, to so rock and roll, literally? <laughs> you know, you can manhandle it but also be gentle with it. Don't be afraid of your meat. Okay, and then you have this nice roll, this guy, right? He looks good. You know, I, I like to do like one long string, but there are lots of really good YouTube videos about how to tie up, uh, you know, meat, roulades and stuff, <laughs> but not this one. You want to come here if I come here with a pan? Yes, yes. I would like you to come here with the pan. 
<laughs> I'm gonna carry this across the kitchen. It really takes five minutes. All we wanna do is we wanna brown it on both sides and then it goes into the oven for another half an hour. If you try the recipe, down below, write your comments, like what you think about the rabbit, because I'm dying to hear what people think about it. You know, it's not really a roadkill situation. I don't mind it. If it's a fresh kill, why not? It's like hunting with your car. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You can put it in the oven in the skillet. He likes to pull it out and put it into this. This is an extra step that only a chef would do. I would take that whole thing and I would put it in the oven, cover it with an aluminum foil and call it a look. But this guy, you know, he's fancy. So why don't, let's put this in here because we want all this. This is all good stuff. All right, so in it goes to the beautiful Leconche, which cooks things beautifully. All right, onto the sauce. Yeah. Should we sauce it up? Let's cool. sauce it up. What kind of sauce are we making today? Bechamel sauce. A bechamel sauce. Sí. Where's the flour? Get the flour. Get the flour. Get the flour. Yeah. So he's a professional chef, just saying he's a professional. And to make bechamel, flour is a very important ingredient. Do I see flour here? I do not. So we are making a bechamel sauce, but we add some pecorino to it. Very easy bechamel, right? Right. Who makes the best bechamel here? You do. I do. He makes it, he puts it in his lasagna, it's quite good. So I'm gonna let him make the bechamel. Tell us how you make your bechamel sauce. Bechamel sauce with uh, the roux. This is made with uh, butter and flour and hot milk. It's important that for this sauce, it's not, it doesn't burn. It doesn't get caramelized at all. So see how light that is? That's very important what he just did. Very light. Get over, so over it, over. Guys, over it, over it. It's gotta be like pornography. Please stop directing us. I mean, what does she think I've been doing all this time? It'd be better if she focused on giving you guys the recipe rather than telling us what to do. I talk to everybody, so I'm gonna talk to my camera people for sure. And um, you know, sometimes they have great opinions and sometimes they need to shut up. I'm so glad I found this team. I'm just saying, they're the best in the biz. Watch it get, it'll start thickening. The flour thickens it. And then he's gonna throw some pecorino cheese in there. So essentially it's a cheese sauce. So when we plate our rabbit, we'll use it for the rabbit. I think that's perfect. Radicchio is a, a bitter lettuce, but we cut it with a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of sugar, yeah? See, si. yeah. So, salt and sugar. Yeah, salt, sugar, it's very easy. All right, we got a pan. We got some oil. We got some radicchio. Bad boy. <laughs> Don't start with me now. <laughs> Can't do that content here. We have a totally appropriate relationship. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna plate two plates, one for you, one for me. Right, I always cut things at an angle. You want a nice slice because you want it to stand up, right? When you plate it, you want it to make sure it stands up, right? And all of this work is worth it, I swear to God. And then you just want to give them a little bit of radicchio, not too much, you know. Just want to give them a little zhuzh of it. We like serving this with roasted potatoes, right? Yeah, I think we should try it. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to try this? Let's see. If you don't like it, you have to pretend you like it. All right, let's see how we, let's see how we did. The full one. 
Oh wow, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Right? It's really it's good. good mmm. Really good. So try some rabbit at home. And let me know what you think down there. Like and subscribe. Okay, we're done now. <laughs>